Hi guys and uh, welcome back to Welsh Wargaming. Gaming. Um, this will be a quick video now to show you um, a bit of progression from yesterday with the Austin K5. Um, I put them together, uh, give them a quick undercoat, give them a wash, painted the wheels. So they're looking, they're looking pretty good to be honest. You. Uh, very happy with them. Really nice kits, nice and easy to put together. Uh, it comes with a nice. If you haven't worked with resin before, it can be tricky. It came with some nice instructions. To, uh, you know some tips on how to put them together and washing them beforehand and stuff like that so uh, that's good but um i've i've had re a lot of resin mod before so uh i knew i was sort of knew what i was doing anyway so um i had the eighth family box for off my wife for christmas um so i've been painting that up the last couple of weeks but i've had um a couple of days off working in there so it's been nice just to sit here and get some stuff done so i'm uh, going to show you some of the stuff i've got done um, I've got the British six pound anti tank gun there done up. Uh, built a little emplacement out of it out of some um, some air drying clay. For the bases, I've been using um, the Luke's APS, uh, the Desert Stand and Stone base ready stuff. And um, I've been really impressed with it. To be honest, I I used some of it before some for some of my war armor. But um, I don't know. It didn't really have that. It didn't have the same effect as on like historical models. But um, I'm really happy with how it turned out the base anyway. To be honest, with you. Well, excuse my hands. Here. I've been painting this morning, so they're stinking. Um, these are some of the infantry. The box comes with 36 infantry. I decided to make half with the um, the normal tin hat and half with a tambo shanty. So I'm going to do some Scots regiments within my army. They're running the same platoon just to give it a bit of a. I've um this box I've actually painted up quicker than any other one I've done. It usually takes me quite a long time to paint stuff up with work and kids and stuff. Um, I also built um a Matilda two to um include in my force. Uh, one of the lads down the club that I play against uh, regularly, he bought the um Deutsche and Africa core box, so I know you got a Panzer three in it and that deadly eighty eight. Which I'm actually looking forward to playing against because uh, I play Germans. Well, this is my first Allied army to be honest. You, and um, I have got quite a quite a, ma a quite a big German collection now. Um, I will I might do a video on it one day to show you bits and bobs that I got. Uh, that's the, one of the universal carriers. Um, I like these. I'm gonna run them with some um, five man veteran squads in them, just to give uh, just give small small squads I can insert in certain places of the table. Give um, the Germans a run for their money, hopefully. But yeah, I'm looking forward to facing that 88. To see what he can do against the, uh, you know, my Matilda. I don't think he's gonna last very long. So I'm hoping my six pounder might be able to do uh, keep it busy for a bit. But yeah, um, I've got another Universal Cardia to paint up. Um, I haven't painted up yet because I'm still working on some infantry. So I've been undercoating this morning. Uh, love it. No, they are nice little models. I do like them. Comes from, it comes with some great customization bits. You can have like Sikhs, Indian heads, um, a load of weapons. You can make, I made a small, the small mortar going here with a little mortar team. Uh, the box comes with 36 British 8th Army Infantry, uh, the 6 pounder gun, a 25 pounder light artillery, um, a Vickers medium machine gun, a 3 inch mortar team. Two Bren carriers and then instructions and um, some transfers and stuff. Uh, this is the twenty-five pounder artillery piece. I haven't um, I haven't undercoated the X. I've actually run out of Zandri dust, which what I've been using for undercoating my British Ace Army. Uh, it comes with some crew, three crew. These crew are nice. This guy is like sort of what mopping his brow, which is quite funny. So yeah, um, actually, if I again the MMG team out, then we might not be able to see it on my phone. But the uh, the gunner is actually smoking a cigarette. You could might just about see in his mouth a little white flick there, yeah, which I found so uh, great. I'd love to get a little teapot from somewhere and then maybe put a teapot on a little box and a cup of tea or something just to make it a bit more British. But uh, yeah, oh, this is the um, move this all the way. The crew. This is the second Austin truck that I also they undercoated as well. So as a pair, they're looking really good. I'm really happy with them. Obviously, I got a lot more work to do on them, and I got some spare 
trans um, some transfers I'm going to stick on the doors and stuff. But yeah, so uh, hopefully we're going to try and do some um, battle reports soon. Um, there's above there's three or four of us that play ball action quite regular. Um, I've got a, like a mass like I said a massive German army. Um, my mate Adam has got quite a big British army now. Um, one of the boys, Martin, uh, got quite a lot of the, um, the United States, but he's just started a Russian force, which would be good because me and Reese combined got you know quite a lot of Germans. So yeah, so uh, hopefully we will keep you posted on them and see how it goes. Um, thanks for listening, and uh, speak to you next time.